Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So in case y'all are living under a rock and somehow not watching the videos, why are you subscribed and not watching the videos? Mm, ask yourself that question. <laughs> or why are you not subscribed and you keep watching videos? Because I can peep that too, you know, guys, in case you didn't know, I can see people not subscribed, continuing to watch. Subscribe. <laughs> Okay, with that said, no, guys. Um, over the weekend, Elaine Thompson Hira participated in the women's 100 meters at the USA TF New York Grand Prix. However, unfortunately, coming out of that, Elaine Thompson Hira pretty much sent shockwaves across the track and field fraternity, and it wasn't in the good way that you know we were expecting. You know, something you know really fast from Elaine Thompson Hira. Are just you know signs that hey, everything is good as she heads into what will be her attempt at potentially doing a triple double at the olympic games but first she has to head to the jamaican championships um to qualify in both events the 100 meters and the 200 meters as i said it wasn't a positive shock wave the shock wave she sent across the fraternity is that during the race mid race very visible for everyone to see elaine thompson here felt something she still completed the race however shortly therein after she ripped her shoe off went down on the track and literally had to have assistance, you know, lifting herself from the track. Now, as I said, shock waves went through the track and field fraternity because Elaine Thompson here is a double, double Olympic champion. And there's a lot on the line as it relates to her, you know, legendary status, you would say, to head to Paris and potentially try to do it all over again. However, this time, a third time around, unprecedented. Well, what she's done is already unprecedented, but she wanted to take it to a next level or she wants to take it to a next level so coming out of, you know, USA um, Grand Prix or the New York Grand Prix, the conversation, you know, is, is Elaine Thompson Hero going to be fine and be ready for the Jamaican championships? Now, we did also see shots of her getting her foot iced. Now, based on where it was being iced, it seems as though it has nothing to do with the Achilles, but track is it still doesn't tell us how serious are at that moment looking at the shot it still didn't tell us how serious this injury is and how long elaine thompson hero will need to recover remember again as i said two and a half weeks pretty much to trials or what is it two weeks now to trials yes so whatever is going on has to be resolved in time for her to still get some training in because that's important based on where she is now she definitely still needs to get some training in so that she can peak in time and whatever the good peak is for that particular moment to qualify in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters at the national championships so chuck is as i said the conversation now is still swirling and it is worrying right now based on you know elaine thompson hero's current progress and status now she did you know take to her instagram where she indicated that she you know felt something um when she pushed out of the blocks however she still kept going and you know it didn't get any better it pretty much got worse to the point where yeah she had to you know go down on a track and have assistance um lifting her from the track but guess what track is today elaine thompson here made a post and what is important about this particular post is not just the words on the screen or the song that's playing in the background but the fact that she's wearing you know trainers you know what i mean or sneakers whatever you want to call it track is i call them sneakers people call them trainers you know whatever floats your boat work with that right so the mere fact that she has shoes on it's not a slipper you know when they wear these comfortable crocs you know whenever anything is going on with the foot no she has on a full-fledged shoe which means that right now it seems as though this is a good indication that there is hope yes and this is good hope that going into the senior championship she will have enough time to one recover from whatever she felt and to get that necessary work in so that she can turn up at the jamaican championships and vie for one of three spots on the team to the olympic games and it's very hard it's difficult track is to make the jamaican team as much as people want to make it look like it's easy it is not easy i mean if you're running 10 sevens dash 10 sixes, then sure, it is easy. But when you take a look at where everybody else is in the season, nobody has really, you know, done anything special, right? So far, we haven't seen Shelly, right? Um, we know what Sherika did, that 11-0-3. And for me personally, she's definitely going to be turning up in shape, but that's still left to be seen, right? And of course, there's Elaine Thompson here, you know, visibly going through stuff, 11.4 eight her most recent performance but there's some young ones around there right now i 
did talk about Brianna Liston in my last video as a, you know, viable option. But since then, of course, I did another video, follow-up video talking about Brianna Liston ending her season. So she would be the biggest threat, in my opinion, to any one of these big three, you want to call it, to a spot on the team. Right now, she ended her season, so she's no longer part of the conversation right and then now when you start to look at the others around there's still the likes of a natasha marson she hasn't really shown anything so far this year but again when you think about what happened last year she didn't show anything either but she still turned up at the national championships and qualified um for the team also when you look at the likes of Natasha lee forbes you know earlier on this year she did suffer a setback but she's definitely back and she has been very consistent you know on that 11 5 or you know those low 11 seconds almost sub 11 you would say for Shashali Forbes. So best believe in my opinion, I'm thinking that, you know, once she gets, you know, into her speed work for those final, you know, few weeks heading into the trials, I'm seeing a personal best out of her as well. We have Brenna Williams that's also returning and she ran a season's best 11.08 seconds recently as well. Now I'm talking about the people that, you know, have made the team before or have been there or thereabouts, right? So these are people that have, you know, consistently been a part of Jamaica's structure in most recent years. Um, one through fourth you can pretty much say this is where these athletes have been finishing in the race and then now you have to take a look at you know an up-and-coming athlete like a crystal slowly will she be able to figure is she gonna be you know a shelly you know trump card from mvp this season where she comes out and drops you know something ridiculous there's a possibility that that may happen as well there's a lot that elaine thompson here has to be abreast of and keep abreast of if she wants to make the team to her third consecutive olympic games would be her third consecutive olympic games if she makes it and again go for something even more you know historic than she's already done which is the triple double for the 200 meters track is given that there's not much depth in that 200 meter field from a jamaican perspective then you know it may seem easier i don't want to say it's easy but easier to possibly make that 200 meter team but herein lies the issue with the 200 meters it's clearly going to be more workload on an elaine thompson here that is not 100 percent will she even be able to participate in the women's 200 meters is also a major question that is swirling around in everybody's minds again given her current status where she finished 11.48 seconds but the 11.48 seconds was not the concern but again the injury given that we do not know how serious the issue is but again as i said there's hope there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that is seeing elaine thompson here in sneakers trainers again whatever you want to call it seeing her in shoes is giving me hope because if y'all know when elaine thompson here is struggling with anything you know foot related you either see her in a boat that's the worst case scenario glad i'm not seeing any boat hallelujah and if you all know the boat that i'm talking about it's the one that usain bolt currently has on his foot now since whatever happened with his achilles playing football right so i'm not seeing a boot which is a good sign and also not seeing her as well in any slides slippers whatever you want to call it which again for me is another good sign because she's able to wear shoes so track is there's hope there's hope that elaine thompson here in these last few weeks heading into the national championships she may only need a few days to recover from what she felt and if that's the case track is then she'll be able to get the training in required to sharpen up for the senior championships where she will be able to vie for a spot but yes it will still be tough because i don't know if she'll be at her best i don't think she'll be able to be at her best at the national championships there's still a lot of athletes that are in the conversation live threats if elaine thompson hero wants to be a part of the team but anyway track is let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you think think elaine thompson here wearing shoes is a good sign is hope that one it's not as serious thank god that we may have thought it was originally given the fact that she had to be lifted from the track i saw a few people saying that the reason why she was lifted was not necessarily because it was so bad but because she didn't want to add any further pressure to the issue which again is another good sign right so let me know your thoughts do you think elaine thompson here will be ready in time for you know the championships or you know is it done and dusted and over let me know your thoughts as a matter of fact don't tell me if you think it's done and dusted and over <laughs> you know how i get in my comment section don't tell me that <laughs> like the video of course track is and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you on the next one bye